okay student now i am going to discuss about the most important chapter of the physics for class 10 student right which is the current electricity okay in current electricity first we have to understand the concept of current right to understand the concept of current here we will show an analogy of water flowing through a tube and current flowing through a conductor here the current flowing through a conductor means charge flowing through a conductor okay i made the analogy of charge and water here just to make an imagination in your mind that just like water flow through the tube similarly the charge flow through the conductors right i will deal with this analogy to clarify the understanding of the current electricity and mind me you will be very clear about the concept of current voltage potential difference resistivity resistance or anything okay after watching my all videos you will get a clear idea about this okay so what is current current can be defined as the rate of flow of charge okay that means if i designate current with i letter then we can say i equal to q by t right in very simple way current equal to q by t the next come the unit of current right the si unit of current is ampere right so what is ampere i equal to q by t if q equal to 1 coulomb which is coulomb is the unit of the charge and time is 1 second then i will say the current is 1 ampere that means 1 ampere equal to 1 1 coulomb per second okay i think it is clear okay sometimes we also hear about the smaller unit of ampere like milli ampere okay we say it milli ampere okay and sometimes we also hear about micro ampere this is the micro symbol and we say it micro ampere milli is you know 1 milli ampere equal to 10 to the power minus 3 ampere and 1 micro ampere equal to 10 to the power minus 6 ampere i think many students are acquainted with this equation let me tell uh, in details about the flow of current okay when i am saying that the charge is flowing through this conductor okay i am telling charge is flowing through this conductor actually what happens inside the conductor we know that electrons are free to move inside the conductor and it is the electrons which moves from point a to b here okay this is clear and we know that the one electron is equivalent to minus 1.6 into 10 to the power 19 coulomb of the charge okay that means one coulomb of charge is carried by i can write it there like this 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 electrons equal to one coulomb just i have transferred to this side right that means one coulombs of charge is carried by if i divide this we will get 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 electrons okay that means one coulomb of charge is carried by this number of the electrons okay therefore here if i am telling that one coulomb charge is flowing from point a to b that means actually this number of the electron is flowing from terminal a to terminal b okay that is why i told here that current equal to charge 
रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज दैट मीन्स चार्ज क्वान्टिटी ऑफ चार्ज डिवाइड बाई टाइम ओके दैट मीन्स द टाइम टेकन टू ट्रेवल द चार्ज फ्रॉम ए टू बी दैट मीन्स द टाइम टेकन फॉर ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू बी बाई द इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट मीन्स इफ दिस नंबर ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ट्रेवल फ्रॉम ए टू बी इन वन सेकेंड देन इट इज सेड दैट द चार्ज इज वन कुलम आई थिंक इट इज क्लियर नाउ वॉट हैपन्स इन साइड ए कंडक्टर रिगार्डिंग चार्ज एंड वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट्स टू ऑल्सो क्लियर दैट वी टोल्ड दैट आई इक्वल टू क्यू बाई टी सिमिलरली क्यू इक्वल टू यू विल नोटिस दिस इक्वेशन ऑल्सो आई इन टू टी दैट मीन्स एम्पियर सेकेंड एम्पियर सेकेंड इज इक्वेल टू कुलम ओके बी क्लियर अबाउट दिस ओके ऑल्सो कीप दिस इक्वेशन इन माइंड समटाइम इट विल वर्क फॉर यू ओके so what happens in case of the electrolytes or ionized gases okay so what happens if we know in lead acid battery there remains say electrolyte an electrolyte and there are two plate right one negative one positive plate okay what happens here the ionized particle that means charged particle flow from one plate to the another plate with the help of the ionized electrolyte right so here the ions charged ions flow charged ions flow from one plate to another plate right suppose if an electron passes through the cross section of a conductor in time t then the total charge suppose um, it is a conductor and i am telling that n number of electron passes through this conductor in time t okay in time T second, okay, or T. Then the total charge will be equal. What will be n into E? Why? Because the number of electrons are n, and the charge of one electron is E, which is equal to you know minus one point six newton minus nineteen coulomb. Therefore, Q equal to n E. okay that means the measure of charge equal to n into e number of electrons into charge of one electron so keep this in mind that means if i make uh, an equation with q by t we can again further uh, do this n e by t that means ultimately current becomes n e by t which is more realistic picture of the current right so we can practically analyze that we say that the electrons are flowing through a conductor so how many electrons flowing through a conductor so what is the charge and how many times take to flow in the conductor that is the ampere right so remember these equations it will be more helpful in uh, studying further chapters so what equation we have uh, obtained till now i equal to u by t right and i equal to n e by t okay keep in mind these two equation okay now in the next chapter i will tell you about the concept of potential and potential difference okay